This is Logan Hall with the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative, and you're watching a video tutorial on how to access image service functions in ArcGIS for desktop. In this tutorial, we will apply functions to the Maryland LiDAR image services using ArcGIS for desktop. We will cover quick tips on symbolizing raster functions, and we will apply functions in ArcGIS Online. ArcGIS 10 brought new functionality to our rasters, allowing on-the-fly processing to be applied to datasets without altering the original data. Some of these functions can be chained together, creating complex and dynamic raster outputs. Once you've connected to the Maryland LiDAR topography server, we'll use Talbot County for our example, bringing the DEM in meters. This is critical as the raster functions have only been applied to the baseline image service, which is the DEM in meters. Either double click or right click and open properties. Navigate to and select the processing template tab. If you are using ArcGIS for desktop version 10.2.2 or earlier, the tab will be called Server Functions. Using the function dropdown, you'll gain access to the available raster functions that have been set up for the service. You'll see Aspect, DEM in Feet Elevation Units, Hillshade, Multi-Directional Hillshade, and slope represented in percent rise. We'll select the hillshade and at the bottom you'll see a checkbox to return raw pixel values when using identify. If you do check this box upon identifying the raster regardless of the function applied the value returned will represent the DEM in meters elevation units. Click apply and OK. After applying an image service function, we may need to alter the layer properties and symbology in order to appropriately display our new derivative dataset. Continuing this tutorial, we will go over quick tips on symbolizing each raster function applied. Again, using our Talbot County DEM in meters as our example, open our layer properties and apply our slope function under our processing template. Click apply and then navigate to your symbology tab. scroll to the bottom under statistics we're going to change this to from current display extent what the setting does is allows the image service to render based on the statistics of the current extent displayed if we click apply and OK as you zoom and pan the map area Notice how the symbology statistics will update on our layer. As we continue to zoom in, the symbology will update accordingly. Note the data values of the actual cells will not be affected by symbolization. Go back to full extent and open layer properties. Under our color ramp, we can select our slope color ramp. If you are unfamiliar with the categories of our color ramps, you can right click and turn off graphic view, displaying the text value of each color ramp. Scroll to the bottom and select slope. 
click apply and OK. Once again, starting with Talbot County DEM and meters, we'll open our layer properties and this time apply our aspect function. Click apply. And notice how our high low values have changed automatically. If we navigate to the symbology tab, we can see our low value of negative one and high value of 360, representing our full range of azimuths for our aspect function applied. Once again, for the color ramp, you can right click, unselect graphic view, and from the drop down, select aspect at the top of the menu list. Click apply and click OK. Our next function will be Hillshade. Open Layer Properties and apply our Hillshade function. Click Apply and click OK. Notice that our display has gone blank. Unlike our Aspect function, our high-low values have not been updated automatically. We need to open up layer properties and navigate to the symbology tab. We simply need to check edit high low values, set our max for 255, and our minimum for zero. Click apply and click OK. Unlike a default hill shade, with azimuth of 315 and altitude of 45, the multi-directional hillshade presents an unparalleled view of the terrain. This is done so by computing a hillshade from six different locations as opposed to a single direction in the default hillshade. The multi-directional hillshade function is available in ArcGIS for Desktop 10.2.1 and later. Open Layer Properties, and under Processing Templates, apply the Multi-HS function. Click Apply and OK. Similar to a default hillshade, the Symbology statistics do not update automatically. Therefore, we need to open up Layer Properties again, navigate to the Symbology tab, and check the box to Edit High-Low Values. Again, similar to a default hillshade, our max will be 255 with a minimum of zero. Click apply and click OK. Our final example will convert the image service DEM from meters to feet elevation units. Open layer properties and apply the DEM underscore FT function. Click apply and click OK. Once again, the symbology is not updated automatically when applying this raster function. Open Layer Properties and open the Symbology tab. Recalculating statistics on a raster dataset of this size is time intensive and a cumbersome process. One workaround that we found is applying current display extent to statistics. Click Apply. This will return the min, max, mean, and standard deviation of our applied function template at the full scale of our raster dataset. 
we simply take these values for min and max and apply them to the stretch values of our raster data set. So our max will be 116.76 and our minimum negative 2.29. Click apply. And change our statistics back to from image service. Click apply and then click OK. Image service raster functions are available in our ArcGIS online maps as well. Add the desired image service to your AGOL map. For more information on accessing the Maryland LiDAR image services, please watch the appropriate tutorial video. Again, raster functions are only available on the DEM underscore M services within each county folder. After the layer is added to your map, navigate to Contents and select More Options. Scroll down to Image Display. And select from the Render drop-down the appropriate function. Click Apply. And under Stretch Type, we can set Min Max and check the box for Dynamic Range Adjustment. This will act similarly to our statistics display by current extent. Click Apply and zoom into the map to view the changes. For additional resources, please visit imat.maryland.gov and to access your Maryland LiDAR topography server, visit lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash imap.